Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Mega Dan. I wanted to do a little recap on uh, the Nintendo Direct that happened on 3-8-2018. And just do my thoughts on it, what I was excited for, what uh, really didn't surprise me, things like that. Uh, so, first of all, if you haven't watched Superhero Game Squad, Riff, and all those guys watching the Nintendo Direct, they did their reaction of when Smash Bros. came out. That, that's great. I was in that room when that happened. That was hysterical. And the best thing about it is, they're not, like, acting. Like, you'll look up a lot of reactions to Smash Bros. and be like, oh, you know, they're just acting because they know they're being recorded or whatever and they want to freak out and it's super dumb. But, uh, the thing about Aaron or Riff and all those guys is, Aaron's not joking around. Like, he is that excited for stuff. And it just cracks me up. That guy is just so great. Like, he is so positive. If you have not watched that yet, go to Superhero Game Squad. Superhero Game Squad. And go to their channel. And, and watch them. They are... They're just having fun, man. They make you mad that you have to go to work. That's what I'll say. Like... I had to go to work later that day. I was watching it in their room live stream. And I was like, well, now I'm going to go to work. You know, they get to have fun in there. <laughs> it was just one of those things. Matter of fact, I commented something like that. And Riff commented back just saying something like, have a good day, man. <laughs> so those guys are great. Go check them out. Um, if you're watching me and you haven't seen them yet, that's crazy. So I will list some things that... Um, that are worth mentioning. If I don't mention them, like Octopath and stuff, guys, I I need to see more about that game to see if I even care about it. And and I'll and I'll let me finish why maybe it'll frustrate people on things. I catch shit all the time for about the stuff I'm about to say. So please do not blast me too hard and let me explain. So first off, Crash Bandicoot comes to the Switch. First of all, that surprises shit out of me. Because to me, that's like a Sony mascot. And now he's just jumping around in every system. And out of all of them, he comes to a Nintendo one. And for the Switch to port that, that's actually pretty cool. Because Crash Bandicoot's a game that's really good to play on the go. Like, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, things that come out on the Switch that I don't get is like Skyrim. Because what they're trying to push is, if I'm going to play Skyrim... I'm going to play it on the PS4 with the best graphics and things like that. I'm not going to go and I'm not going to play it on the, you know, um, Switch. Just because what what they're trying to market is playing it on the go. Well, I'm not going to play the Switch on the go. Um, I'm, I'm not going to play Skyrim. I'm sorry. I'm not going to play Skyrim on the go. You have to get too involved in Skyrim to play it on the go. How much time do you really have on the go? Like, if you're not constantly taking planes and stuff like that, you're going to need at least an hour into Skyrim to probably really accomplish anything. So Crash Bandicoot makes really good sense. You can bust out a couple levels. You can play one, two, or three, all in HD, remastered. It's a really good idea. I don't think I'll do it because I don't really play on the go very much. But for people that do play on the go... Crash Bandicoot's wonderful for that. The new Kirby game. I think, finally, I am going to try the new Kirby game. Um, it's called Kirby Something Stars. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't even know. I'll be honest with you. I've never even played a full Kirby game. So that's the frustrations people get with me with that. I have never given Kirby a chance, so I'm not going to talk crap about the Kirby franchise. I've never given it a chance. It just doesn't look like something I'd like. I played it super quick, quickly once when I played Kirby's Adventure on the NES. I never completed it. I, I just didn't get into it. But I think I need to give it another chance. And I think I'm going to give it a new chance on this new Kirby coming out for the Switch. I'm going to get it. The Splatoon DLC... I don't play online games much anymore. For anybody that's in this Splatoon, though, obviously it's wonderful. It's DLC. It's the first one. Not that they've already given you enough. They've already added maps, I'm pretty sure. And they add guns all the freaking time because I see it pop up on my Switch. So 
if you play online a lot and you play this the Splatoon, obviously that's great news. Um, Mario Tennis. I'm trying to get into it, guys. Mario Tennis is one of those repetitive games that I, I don't know if I'm going to get, man. I got the one for the Wii U. I got some of the older ones. Just gets boring. Um, you got to have people to play with, I guess, with stuff like that. I'm, I'm not too hyped over it. I like that they're trying to do more in the game, and obviously the graphics look great and stuff like that, and they added more trick shots and ways to strategize and play defensive versus play like this, and probably depending on what character you are even more so. So it looks cool, man. It's just not for me. I'm probably not going to mess with it. So the new WarioWare for the 3DS, uh, that looks sick. I'm definitely getting that. I'm a huge fan of Wario. It's about time he came out with something. I really wish we'd see one for the Switch, though. Um, once again, I'd rather have stuff for my Switch than my 3DS, but I'll take it. I'll play my 3DS and I'll play Wario. That game looks sick. Can't ever go wrong with that. The Mario & Luigi Bowser Inside Story, which I've never played, so it works. That's coming out uh, remastered um, on the 3DS, and it has some other um, Bowser Jr. thing on it too. So I will be playing that one probably instead of buying the old one. Still undecided on that. I almost feel like I should play the old one. But it'd be nice to play the new one. I, I, I'll to decide that. But it, it looks really cool, man, if you uh, if you like those games. They're like the RPG Mario games, and I, I'm still digging them. I'm still trying to get through them, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Luigi's Mansion is going to come to the 3DS. That's pretty cool. Even though I already have it on GameCube, so I'm not going to mess with it. But I think it's pretty cool that they're doing that. I'm a little disappointed, though, that we didn't see a Luigi's Mansion 3 on the Switch. That's one thing I would love to see. Hopefully we get it at some point. Luigi's Mansion is a great game. I'm still trying to get through the second one. I got really far in it. And I kind of just went to a stop because I try to play 8,000 games at one time, which is really stupid. So, um, yeah, Luigi's Mansion came out on 3DS. That's pretty cool. Captain Toad came out on the Switch. That is going to be pretty cool. If you have not played Captain Toad, a lot of people have not. Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker, that came out on the Wii U. And, guys, that's a good game. And this is going to have extra levels on it from Mario Odyssey. Um, if you haven't played that, that's a nice game to just sit there and just chill and play. Like, that's the perfect game that you just got off of work. You don't want to play a game that gives you too much challenge. You don't feel like being challenged very much. You don't feel like having to focus very much. You kind of just want to just sit there and just chill and play a game. Codes, tri uh, pfft, codes. Toad's Treasure Tracker is perfect for that. I can't say that enough. So if you do not have that, if you've never played it on the Wii U, get Toad's Treasure Tracker, please. It's really, really good. If you're a fan of the Mario franchise, you're going to like it. It's super, super cool. It's a puzzle game, kind of. You know, it, it's really cool. It's a good mixture of puzzle, a little bit of platforming, just exploring the little levels, finding all the items in there. It's awesome, dude. Boss battles, everything. It's cool. Um, and then last but not least, of course, Smash Bros. I'm not saying there's nothing... I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Smash Bros., I'm not trying to hate on Smash Bros. But was I excited for it? No. Um, it, it's it's cool it's there. Um, I knew it was going to be there. They're not going to have a Nintendo console and not have a Smash Bros. That's arguably their most... That's probably their most popular... I don't know, they're in Breath of the Wild and stuff. That's a very close one for being most popular title on the Switch. Like, I think once once that was announced... The amount of Switches sold online was crazy. It was on uh, Riggs's uh, channel. What's his first name? John Riggs, I think. And if you haven't watched him, go go check him out. He's a pretty cool dude. I'm trying to get into his stuff. I'm trying to watch all his backlog and stuff like that. But he was showing like this eBay, like how to get 20% off. And he showed how many people bought a Switch recently. Holy cow, it was crazy. And it probably what I thought was due to them announcing Smash Bros. So, the reason I'm not into Smash Bros 
is because, guys, I first of all, playing Smash Bros. one player gets boring. It's just about as boring as playing, in my opinion, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat or something, Fatal Fury, by yourself. It's just, it's boring. Um, I wasn't one of those kids with an N64 that had all the controllers and my buddies came over and we played Mario 6, or we didn't play Smash Bros. And on the GameCube, I played alone most of the time. I didn't really play with my friends. So they didn't come over and play locally with me. I think I played Smash Bros. Melee once with a couple guys when we got off of work and we went to his house and played and then on the Wii I didn't even buy the Smash Bros or have it because I was more into Xbox at the time so I didn't play the Wii very much and then the Wii U one I really set my uh, claws into and tried to get into it because it had Mega Man so I really tried to get into it and it was cool the graphics were great the levels were cool it just gets boring I just I can't get into Smash Bros um, like I said, if I was into playing online and playing with other people, then I'm sure I would be all about it. It looks, it's a lot of fun to watch people play it, but I'm just not one that gets really into it. I want more of a story driven game. So, uh, I think that's my problem. Oh, I got a fixed camera. So I think that's part of my problem. So that's my thing with Smash Bros. I think people take it the wrong way when I say this. I don't hate Smash Bros. I just... At the same time, don't understand the crazy hype for it. Like, I just I just don't get it. Um, me and a friend were talking about this, too, and he feels the same way. And it's just, I just don't get it. But I, I'm not a big one for, for playing with other people. That's obviously what it is. It's obviously just this multiplayer thing. You play with your buddies all the freaking time. These people that are in college and play. These people that go to tournaments and play. These people that play online. And that's obviously why it's so driven. But um, if I was going to play a fighting game, I would play Smash. I'll say that. The things I thought the Nintendo Direct I wanted personally, and I'm, I'm waiting, I'm being patient, I'm not upset about it or anything, but I would love to see a Punch-Out on the Switch. A Punch-Out would be fucking amazing. Just because you got the Joy-Cons, you can be punching, dodging. I mean, come on. Even now that he has a better book... Now that he's not such an idiot, because he's not making a fool of himself, bring Mike Tyson back. Sign him up and put him in the game. Face tattoo and all. No, maybe not the face tattoo. I know they're not going to do something like that, but it'd be cool. You know, and he's not known as like that gangster guy anymore that gets into trouble and goes to jail and beats women and stuff like that. He's like a normal dude now. So, um, that seems to be all forgotten about. And then the other thing I would have wanted instead of the tennis, instead of Mario Tennis, I'd rather have Mario Baseball. Um, I'm a huge baseball fan. And um, the first Mario Baseball in GameCube I played the crap out of. I'm um, just a big fan of it. If I had to go with a um, sports game for Nintendo to come out with, it would be Mario Baseball. And the secondly, probably Mario Strikers. Those are two games I would have rather have had than Mario Tennis. Um, like I said, Mario Tennis, you know, will I buy it? I'm a fucking Mario fanboy, so probably my dumbass will buy it, but, uh, I'll try it. But once again, guys, I don't really play with people. It's going to get boring playing the computer. I'll try to get into it, but let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what you guys think about the, uh, Nintendo Direct and, uh, leave your comments below. Uh, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Later.